today we're going to talk about syncopation, tide notes, irregular time signatures and time changes. So first of all, syncopation. Syncopation is a rhythmic effect and it happens where there's a shifting of the normal accent, usually by stressing notes which are normally unaccented. So if we have a look at this music here, the notes in blue are syncopated. So we see here we strike this note here before the strong beat. We strike this note just before the bar line, before the strong beat. Likewise. So syncopation, we're hitting these notes at a point where they would normally not be accented. There's another example. So the blue notes, syncopated. They're happening at places where we don't normally accent notes. Syncopation is everywhere in jazz music, rock music, pop music, musical theatre. If you're playing in any of those styles at all, you're playing, you're using syncopation. Those styles of music couldn't exist without that rhythmic effect that we call syncopation. So tied notes. A tie, as you know, is a curved line which joins notes of the same pitch and that's that's the crucial thing they have to be of the same pitch two notes are joined together here's a six beat note and that's the purpose of ties so we, we can see in this music we're in a time signature of four four but if you want a six beat note there's no point putting a dot after that note there because we can only have four beats in the bar if you want a six beat note in four four You'd have to do it like that, tying two notes together. Here's another example of a tied note, a two beat note, joining on to a quaver, half beat note. So that note in total, two and a half beats. Here's another one, a one beat note, crotch it, joining onto a semi quaver, one beat, quarter of a beat, one and a quarter beats. And again, sometimes tied notes happen over a bar. So for example, this note lasts one and a half beats. also of course an example of syncopation too but one and a half beats there but we can't fit one and a half beats more into this bar hence the tie so time signatures like this five four seven eight seven four thirteen eight we can describe these as irregular time signatures so we'll look at this music here for example Time signature 5 4. If you were to count up the beats in the bars, they would add up to 5 beats. That's an example 5 4. That's an example of an irregular time signature. There's another one. If you were to, only two bars here, it looks as if there's more, but there's only two bars. So if you were to add up the values of each of the notes. Let's just do that in fact. So one beat, one beat in total, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven beats in the bar. Seven, four, an example of an irregular time signature. Time changes. So this refers to time signatures which shift sometimes from bar to bar. So if we look, for example, at this music here, we see that it starts off in 4-4, four, four, but then 5-8, five, five quaver notes in the bar, back to 4-4, four, 7-8, four, seven, seven quaver notes in the bar. So this shifting time signature idea, we call time changes. Here's another example. That's no, not. I'm going to do that again. 
time changes. So time changes refers to time signatures which shift some things from bar to bar. If we look at this music here, for example, it starts off in 4-4, four, four, changes to 5-8, five, 5 quaver notes in a bar, back to 4-4, four, four, changes to 7-8, seven, 7 quaver notes in a bar. So these changing, shifting time signatures we call time changes. It's a feature of some 20th century music, some uh, contemporary compositions and often we find it in contemporary jazz.